Let me just... <laughs> Hello? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Chibi Chaz. I know I look like two. I look really um, messed up right now, but that's because I am going to show you guys my curly hair routine. I'm running on like day three curls right now. I have not been sleeping with a head cap, which I should. I've just been going to bed on a knitted pillow. Probably not the best for, you know, my hair because it dries it out really bad, but that's okay because today we are going to refresh them and get them back on point. I'm tired of looking ugly, so um, let's just hop right into the video. All right, so ugh, my hair is really thick, so for all my thick haired girls out there, We are one, we are a union. We will fight forever and stay strong through this very hard battle with our hair. Um, if I look this way, it's because I'm looking at my mirror, so. Yeah, this is my hair. Ugh, look at how crusty. Literally just not it, guys. Look at that. The only reason why it's straight at the top is because I have it smoothing it down to just put it in that little um, ponytail bun thing that I do. It's super easy. So, I've been rocking with my little middle part lately, but I low-key think I want to do a um, side part. A little bit on the risque side. I'm going to just take my comb <laughs> and part my hair to the side. I really suck at parting my hair. So now I'm just gonna take that and where this part is. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, I'm just gonna part my hair. Take um, hair ties and trap one side up. Since my hair is so thick, I have to part my hair usually. I part it in like either four or five. But I do it in a way where it's like not pre-parted. I just kind of gauge it and attack it from there. I try to make sure I have an equal amount of hair all around. Like say like this piece right here, I can pull up. Just to make sure I'm getting all of the curls and pieces of my hair so that all of them are, you know, getting the special ingredients for my hair. So I will repeat the same step. Oh, my hair is so nice. Now that you look like Minnie Mouse, you're gonna get started. I'm grabbing this little water bottle. I just got this from Walmart or the Dollar Tree. We're just gonna brush my hair to where all of the pieces of my hair are at least wet. My hair is kind of nappy and I do get a lot of fallout guys, but honestly, me personally, I don't really mind my fallout just because I have a lot of hair, so. Next, I used a detangler. This detangler that you can obviously get at Walmart. I don't know, this detangler works really well with my hair. I don't know about y'all, but this really like refreshes my curls. Then I go in with all of it's all has hair on it. That's disgusting. Let me like take off all the hair. That's so gross. Um, I use this kind of as an oil instead of actual oil because I found that like putting it just straight on oil in my hair makes it really heavy. And I don't want my hair to feel heavy when people like people shouldn't touch it. But like say somebody does like touch my hair, I don't want it to feel like heavy, you know. So I use this olive oil mousse. So I literally just use three pumps or so on the part of my hair. I don't know if you guys know the methods of curly hair but I specifically use the praying hand method like this because it works best for my hair I smooth it throughout my hair I don't really comb it through that tends to make my curls fluffier than what I personally like my hair does get puffier throughout the day so all right next I use this leave-in conditioner by African pride is the best for my hair like it never leaves my hair flaky I highly recommend this brand you could get it at Sally's or any beauty supply store I'm sure I recommend their whole hairline um, I've tried almost everything, even down to their deep conditioners. I repeat this praying hand method throughout my hair. I do brush it and say like my hair is a little napping in that area, but I immediately smooth it out right after. Y'all see this shrinkage though? Like what the hell? Look at the shrinkage! It doesn't even make any sense. Alright, next from the same brand, I use their curling cream this is like what makes my curls pop the most also guys this brand smells so good like i love the smell especially the curling cream so after i'm done this is the final product of my curls after i do that whole thing i'm just gonna bada bing bada boom i don't really like these hair ties my mom thought i would like them because i have such thick hair they don't really help me i still prefer like the smaller bands and just using two so after i'm done with my section i will grip the top of my hair really tight and i will wrap that section so that it's out of my way and i can focus on the next now we're just gonna repeat this step i'm gonna fast forward this because now i'm just going to be repeating the same steps throughout the video so i'm low-key rushing because i have plants 
So I'm doing a little bit bigger section than what I would normally do. What I do when I'm running on a time limit, I will take my foaming pomade. Since I'm doing a little bit of a bigger section, I'm gonna take a little bit more. The leave-in and the curling cream, and I just mix them all together because you're mixing them together in your hair anyways. And I will just apply it like so. So that I'm not wasting time keeping on dipping and diving. Just life hacks, you know, just wanted to put you on, so. Alright, so this is the final product. Obviously, my hair is going to poof out as the day goes on. Here's it from the front, and then side. And then here's the back of it. I do like doing that little hair tie thing, holding it back, because I feel like it keeps it from poofing out so early, as well as combining, like, mixing up your hair from parting it from sections, because I know a lot of times you don't think about it, but when you part your hair in section, like, part your hair in the middle, and you, like, just leave it, your hair is, like, perfectly parted in the middle, and it doesn't look, like, combined. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video please like subscribe and comment down below any other videos okay what i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and comment down below any other videos that you'd like to see from me i'll be sure to take them in follow me on all my social medias right here please and thank you love you if you do and um, i'll see you guys in the next video